Thank you, Chairperson. Our independent judiciary is acclaimed worldwide with our constitutional court and other jurisprudence studied by academics and students worldwide and followed by other jurisdictions. So we can be rightfully proud of far-reaching judgments on socioeconomic rights such as the Kruert Worm and the TAC matters. And if anything, these judgments have gone a long way to further the principles and values of the Constitution and our findings that we can be rightfully proud of. Why then the perceived need for change? Now, while the ACDP believes much more progress needs to be made in developing our common law, I believe credit should be given in the advances that have already been made. Advocate Mpowana, I have long advocated the system of restorative justice, which you spoke about, based on indigenous African and Hebraic law. However, that principle is contained in our law, in the Child Justice Act, which we passed in this very parliament, which incorporates those very commendable principles. Can the principles of restorative justice be extended further? Absolutely. And the MPA does apply those principles for adults as well. And this is to be commended and supported. The subject for discussion should also be seen against the criticism that the judiciary has had to contend with from many persons. It seemed to reach a new level following the ruling of the North Gauteng High Court that the president of Sudan Omar al-Bashir must not be allowed to leave the country, pending another hearing at that stage on whether he should be arrested and sent to the International Criminal Court. At that stage, the ANC Alliance issued a declaration that expressed concern at the, quote, emerging trend in some quarters of judicial overreach. This resulted in an unprecedented step of the Chief Justice calling heads of courts from the Constitutional Court, the Supreme Court of Appeal, to the heads of court in July last year, where he made it very clear that judges, like others, should be susceptible to constructive criticism. However, criticism should be fair and in good faith. General gratuitous criticism is unacceptable, he said, and we agree. He also then called a meeting with the Chief Justice, he, he is the Chief Justice, called a meeting with the President and the executive, which resulted in a statement being released, agreeing that the arms of state should exercise care and caution with regards to public statements and pronouncements criticizing one another, and that they should not be seen as antagonistic towards one another. Now, while one needs to do much to alleviate poverty, inequality, and unemployment in our nation, we believe that the courts and our jurisprudence have been at the forefront of advancing those rights, and in fact, as we saw in the TAC and Grootboom judgments, ordering governments at various levels to implement those socioeconomic rights. And we believe that gratuitous and unwarranted criticism against the judiciary is unacceptable, and this was agreed upon between the executive and the judiciary. And to conclude, we from the ACDP believe that this is an interesting discussion, but in our view, our jurisprudence is directly in line with the values and principles of our Constitution. I thank you. Thank you, Honourable Member.